This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so let's have a little bit of introductions uh, with RK2. So, yeah, uh, RK2, also known as RK Government, is a uh, rancher's next generation Kubernetes distributions. Now, uh, this is used by US uh, federal government also. The region is uh, set up Kubernetes cluster setup uh, using RK2, RK2 is very secure. So, RK2 is at uh, its uh, simplest a single binary to be installed and configure on all node nodes expected to participate in the Kubernetes cluster. So this executable need to run in every node. Once started, RK2 is then able to bootstrap and supervise a role appropriate agent per node while sourcing needed content from the network. Uh, so some of the primary difference uh, in RKE1 and RKE2 uh, is uh, RKE1 is using Docker primarily for uh, deploying the creating a clusters and in RKE2 uh, they are using kubelet and uh, kubelet and uh, container D for the same so that's a that's a major difference between RKE1 and RKE2 uh, these are the components uh, we have uh, in RKE2 here if you look at this so uh, so k3s helm controller k epa server controller manager kubelet scheduler proxy etcd run c container d uh, some networking like panel calico flannel cvm and core dns nginx controller metri servers and helm so these are the component uh, which is useful for rk2 setup and so on so yeah some of the prerequisites are um, in order to set up rke2 in a chain environment uh, uh, you need to have a multiple host server so and they they cannot have a same name and uh, app armor uh, which is uh, you can Keep it enable or disable this up to you and then root uh, access for that uh, detailed requirements we have in documents also so let's get started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create uh, three boxes three instance or let's say make it two also it's up to you so RK2 and here Ubuntu. I'll go for 20 uh, for this. Uh, you can check the documentation for the supported versions. Uh, 2 CPU, 8 GB RAM. I'm going for it large. And here I'll create one RK2. Yeah. firewalls i have to modify so i'm selecting the default and 30 gb storage that's okay and i'm going for two machines so done so this is the one machine and one and this is a second machine so here server one and server two okay now what need to be done so you can go ahead and look at this website this page okay and read some of the stuff 
so here you need to remember that uh, uh, here the first server first server first node you can say management node management node you can call it and that need to run on this uh, port number so this port number only uh, that if you want to add a new node to the clusters so that is being used so remember this one uh, 6443 is the api server that is not changed and it is always uh, there so you can configure your load balancer accordingly so okay so now uh, what we need to do so we need to first uh, install let me open up my documents also so first thing you need to install rke in all the nodes so that is something which you can do it so how do we install the rke in all the nodes so let me log in into this in this machine and once i'll check the firewall it should be open for time being So here I have opened all the ports. So no need to worry about. Okay, so now just go for log into this machine. Accept. Uh, username is Ubuntu. And sudo hyphen yes become a root for that now install uh, in every nodes so you can of also follow the official documents uh, for installing the rk2 so this is the tarball and this is the rpm and this is the yamway okay and this is the rk2 server and agent so basically you have to install um, you know rk server and node in that each machine server for time being uh, for each machines okay so this is the three method we have fourth method also we have there's a quick start there's one script is there this is the one you can use this okay so up to you which one method you want to go for it uh, so uh, there's one more method which you have so if you want to install worker node then you have to specify rk type agent so this will install the server by default here and if you no, want I to install one i believe this is all if we have internet access so i mean if it doesn't have internet access yeah what is that okay then you can go for the tar ball in that case so here uh you can get the tar ball and copy in the local and then do that so that way you can do that here. Okay. So tarball, multiple methods are there. It's up to you which one you want. Uh, so this is the one of the way to do that. Okay. So now I'm going to install uh, this way. 
this is the way because here I want to install uh, agent by default it will take a latest version so this is sufficient for me so let's get started okay so done after that uh, after installing this uh, you have to do in the other servers also mm, you can enable this service uh, for quick restart sorry not this done and same thing you have to do in the second server also so let me do in the second server and ubuntu In the second server, I'm making the background white. Become root. It's the same thing you have to do in that machine also. So. Enter. And finally, this one done. Okay, so now uh, this is the prerequisite you have to install. You have installed now. You have to create a YAML file uh, in one of the servers. So, this is the primary server I'm considering. You have to create a YAML file. So now, there's a multiple models are there. So, for example, one of the model is you can go inside this directory. And there's a many ways to do that. So basically, etc rancher. Uh, you can use nginx also in this case. Wait a second. Okay, just created this directory, it's not present. Done now. You have to create this file. This file name of the file you can keep it different, also. That's uh, not there now. The problem is. Uh, how do you want to go ahead uh, so in this file you have to specify who should be the server and all so you can do that so here server this is the latest configuration token so I'm thinking uh, just a second go for also hmm. so I'm thinking to use nginx or should I ex ignore it for time being let me ignore it for time being and now On just a second. Hmm. 
so let me do some commands for this prerequisite spending so here of disabled now huh. so create this file config.yaml this is easier actually so PWD etc anchor rocket vi this file now add this one and here it should be your your machines so here IP address of this machine which you got it it should be here and this one so I have a two machines only so that should be okay uh, now this content this is a one server one uh, right now you are writing both as a node but I'll explain it to you I'm done now what you do uh, let's enable this RK services so in this machine also enable is done this machines also enabling is done now uh, uh, okay now QCTL copies just first check this in the node one why is not taking it will take some no. time to no, come up it. there's a now command so which is starting actually it will take some time yes yes huh. yeah so now uh let me check this file is available or not yeah so now what you do the co path so mine is user local bin so copy this one into user local bin that is done okay so uh, no need to set this one uh, now this file is a config file cube config file so this is the way you can set it up and now you can check this what to second one step says miss actually just give me two seconds once one step says miss just second give me two seconds so here uh, so server nine three four five all the ports are open let me match that spelling mistake okay so now uh, let me delete that one machine which is here save it now one more time 
uh, restart this so system CTL uh, stop arcade to server start just wait for a few seconds so let's check it out the status for this status enter is running now let's check this one enter and component status so now if you see that uh healthy 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 but not all this thing so we'll have to wait for some more time and get notes control plane is ready and all so now server is set up now what we need to do we need to same way add agent uh, to this server so did you understand that so far hello yeah can you hello. explain second so now uh, what we have done in ha one machine which is acting like a server uh, in ha that is set up and is working fine now we can add as many agent to this server so now let me add an agent to this server uh, just a second huh. so to run a agent we have to install this this is i did it in the machine which is second machines here so uh, here i am going to uh, start the agent so start the agent Sorry, I missed one line. Just a second. Hold on. So one line I missed it. And that is because of here. This file you have to create. So this will be not there. Ah. So just a second. config I'm adding this file in vi and adding this line in the agent so uh, here this will be this one and token from this one mm. node token which is here and more this the steps which i'm doing which will be repetitive actually so server uh, 
this one for my shares open so this line to add in this file and now then start this stop and start this is a way to add an agent let's see <laughs> okay so this command for enabling permanently on the reboot and then you should see the e notes let me wait for it so official documents also it's good one the only thing is little uh, not step by step written so here what is there uh, you are installing the agent then enabling it creating a file folder and file adding this one and the moment you start this this uh, token will be create uh, this token you'll have to copy from there so sorry this is the agent yeah and after that uh, this is the logs this is the windows agent so here this so the is token uh, be, uh, generated from server node that needs to be uh, updated on the agent node Co copy from the server uh, to agent it's taking okay. little time just wait for it so qctl get notes fill one notes just let it complete so that way you can keep adding the server and agent and it will become a highly available so first thing configure the fixed registration address uh, address means ip address it can be or load balancer i'm not using in this demo uh, or it can be one more thing round robin dns also so i use this one ip address here you can use it anything second thing is first launch the server nodes uh, first server nodes and after that join additional server nodes and then join the nodes so agent nodes so first server nodes you have to uh, do it like this and this is the name of your uh, machines i had only one and this is just uh, maintenance work if you want to add a more server nodes you can add it like this and here you can specify all this stuff and so here i can one... mention uh, multiple huh? if i am adding two more nodes i can huh? mention tls and with the multiple node ip address right correct yes this is the this is the first uh, address D, and this is the domain actually and this second one so here for me it's a email uh, ip address after that once the cluster is up and running uh, you get nodes and all stuff like that and after that once you are sure then you follow this this you add in the each agent and whatever command i run it you have to do that so it's taking time let's wait for it okay so right now only more master node see that i you have to check the firewall rules and uh, this commands you have to if you're learning then do one thing disable everything this is the one so it will be easy for for you so disable the firewall disable the armor and all it will be easy because security armor is security in built in linux so that is taking too much time understood Why is taking too much time?
you can also <coughs> i don't want to kill until the error is there but you can check this logs using this command let's wait for it it's taking too much time actually okay so i just kill this to see that if everything is okay or not and just give me to see let me check the variables one more time and i'm checking whether this is accessible or not let's start So the version which I'm using is 1.24, which is a recent one. <clears throat> okay, so let me restart this. Let me validate one more time. Uh, This is correct and token. Okay. Everything is okay, so let's wait for get started. Okay, so any any other questions which you have meanwhile? This conference the, will it, now be recorded. So invalid token format. So token was given wrong. That is a my mistake. Let me correct it. Rancher two. So let me get the token from 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 that location hold on the location is here
so general CTL can be used for troubleshooting let me give the full token format uh, Let me try full. Let me check the locks. Again, okay, it's taking, it's copying and pasting. Why is taking wrong? Invalid token format. Let's just pause the recording.